awesome sauce. Scene one, Apple, take one. What's up everybody, how's it going out there? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you something cool that I was sitting there thinking about, and I'm like, you know, why not, why not do this? And it is going to be a potato salad, but it's gonna be a potato salad that you probably have never seen before, because typically potato salad, you end up boiling the potatoes. And in this case, I'm gonna be making them more like home fries. So they're gonna be a little bit more crispy um, on the outside, and I kinda of like that idea. So what we've got here is some russet potatoes, and I'm going to go ahead and peel these guys. You don't have to peel them. You can just wash them and cut them up. Um, but I'm going to peel these guys, and as soon as I peel them up, we're going to cut them up into pieces and throw them in a bowl. Um, what we want to go ahead and do is cut these guys up um, probably right around three quarters of an inch or so, I'm thinking. Okay, so now that that has been done and you can see we've got these guys cut up and so this is some kosher salt seems like a lot but there really isn't and you could put black pepper on here if you want to um, I personally can't have black pepper so I'm gonna leave it off and I'm putting some olive oil on here maybe a quarter of a cup you can put less if you want but we need enough that we can coat all of these I'm gonna be putting a little bit of paprika on here as well and for those that have been watching my channel for a while, you know that paprika is nothing more than just red bell pepper that's been dried. This is just a touch of oregano. And I'm not going to be putting a whole lot on here. And the amount of oregano that I'm putting on all these potatoes, this is dried, might be close to about a quarter of a teaspoon if you kind of grind it up like this. But we don't want big pieces. We want small little pieces. Okay. But you can put any herbs you want. If you want to put rosemary, you can put rosemary. Thyme would be a good addition to this. From here, we're going to take some saran wrap, wrap the bowl up so we can give it a shake. Essentially like this. And we want to have all of the potatoes to get the seasoning as well as the olive oil. There we go. Okay. Now, we're going to turn the oven on 400 degrees. So I have a uh, pizza uh, pan here. I have a pizza sheet um, that I'm wrapping with aluminum foil. You can use a cookie sheet. I'm just going to be using a pizza one because it's nearby. Actually, it's funny because if you say pizza sheet, pizza sheet, it almost sounds like you're saying something else. You know. I was walking down the street yesterday and I stepped on a pizza sheet. So, now that we've got that, we're going to end up taking our potatoes and we want to try, if possible, to keep them in one layer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it in an oven 400 degrees and we're going to let that just set inside there, kind of fry up and crisp up. And as soon as it starts turning a little bit brown and we know that it's cooked all the way, that's when we can take it out. And let's go ahead and make our dressing for these potatoes. Mayonnaise, right? And we're gonna end up putting, for the amount of potatoes that we have there, I'm thinking we're gonna need probably close to about a half a cup of mayo, something like that. You could probably put a little bit more and get away with it. That's good. I'm gonna be adding some crushed dill, okay? You can use fresh dill. Yeah, that's probably good right there. I'm going to be adding a couple, maybe two capfuls of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to be adding maybe a tablespoon of olive oil, quarter of a teaspoon kosher salt. If you want to add black pepper, you can go ahead and add black pepper at this time. I'm going to be putting just a little bit of heat. This is my um, Korean hot pepper, which is like cayenne. And it's usually a good idea to put a little sweetness in your dressing. And I'm gonna be, and a lot of times I use sugar, but in this case, I'm gonna be using desert mesquite honey. And I'm just gonna put about, oh, that much. Maybe a half a tablespoon, not too much. I just wanna have a hint. I have a couple of kosher dill spears that I'm throwing inside here. And right now I'm in the process of cutting up some organic, um, celery. 
another thing you can't have without olives I love olives you put a little bit of uh, dried parsley you know what would go really good in this? tarragon but I don't think I have any tarragon okay we're going to mix this stuff up and we're going to let it sit for a while and like if you want to add some fresh thyme to this you can make it a little bit more savory okay and yes I am using a plastic fork because that way I don't have to wash it okay but we definitely want these to be um, mixed together like that and to sit for a while so that way all of these flavors can kind of just infuse with one another some things that you can add to this if you want to if you want to add mustard you can add mustard to this okay sometimes I can deal with mustard sometimes I can't I love mustard but sometimes my body reacts sometimes it doesn't for those that have been watching for a while you know that I have certain intolerances and allergies to food for those that haven't watched me now you know why another thing that you can add to this is green onion right you can cut up some green onion nice and fine throw it in there put a little bit of garlic in there if you want to or you can use garlic powder or onion powder those also are two things that I love but I can't have them a little bit of peas and carrots believe it or not that is going to add some pretty killer flavor you have to remember that essentially the dressing that we're making is the same type of dressing that you can use for a chicken salad right which also means if you want to you could add bits of cheese to this, little cubes of cheese. Just keep in mind that over a period of a day or two, the cheese will start kind of getting wet and gross. Um, so it's best to do it in small portions and only the stuff you plan on eating the same day. And of course, hard boiled eggs. So at this point, I'm going to cover this with saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator. That's the sign that my oven hit, hit 400 degrees. I'm going to keep an eye on those potatoes, maybe give it 20-30 minutes, take a look at them and see if they've been browned up and fried up nicely. Then let them cool off, we can mix it, taste it for salt, pepper, anything else you want, and then we should be good to go. So about 10 minutes ago, I had taken out the potatoes. And they were in for about, I would say, 20 to 30 minutes, and the last... Um, like 10 minutes I, I turned it up to about 450 because I wanted them to crisp up a little bit more if there was a little bit of setting oil I poured it off but these are a little bit closer to home fries now and they're pretty damn good by themselves now we can take this because they're cool enough for us to hold and put it inside our dressing because these are a little drier than normal they should absorb some of the dressing now I'm always thinking of new ways to do stuff and after looking at these potatoes this way I think it would be good to cut up some onion pieces during the same time and roasting them with the onion so they come out caramelized and then throw those inside here as well. Always coming up with new ideas, you know what I mean? Alright, the spin and the shake technique. Now everything in here should be coated. I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes, give it another shake, and then it's time for us to try some. So it smells pretty damn amazing, but the real test is always tasting. And that's really good. Wow. That changes potato salad completely. With mustard, a little bit of onion on this, and pepper wow we have a winner here guys and that's that it's like Hannibal would say on the A-team I love it when a plan comes together this worked out really well give it a shot guys anyway until next time I will talk to you later